Hi everybody, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to do a, another top five video. And today is the fairy edition. I love fairies. They're so cool. I don't necessarily have five for each category, so books and movies. I have more books than I have movies, but that's all right. So let's just start off with the movies since I only, I only have three movies. Now the first movie that I want to talk about, I thought I had but I couldn't find it. But anyways, the movie is called Thumbelina and it's about a girl who's a t like a tiny girl who kind of gets lost in the fairy world and a frog is after her and she's being guided by a fairy prince. I don't think it's a Disney movie. I think it's like one of the other um, companies that does cartoon movies, but I will insert a picture here of the cover. And I just really like this movie. It's cute. I remember it from when I was younger and I think you should watch it. The next movie that I have, now I actually have this one here with me, but as you can see, I haven't opened it yet. I've, this movie was published, do you call it film published? I don't know, in 1992. So it's an older one, but they like redid it and have like remastered it. Ooh, that glare though. And this is called Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. And this is about uh, forest fairies who are trying to save their forest from humans ruining it. I just love this movie. Um, Robin Williams voices this little vamp, or this vampire, this little bat in here. And he's hilarious. I just love this movie. And then um, the main character in here is Krista. She's a forest fairy. And then you can't really see him here, but let's see. On the back, this character here is, I think his name is Jake. And he accidentally gets turned like tiny, like a fairy. So he learns more about the forest and blah, blah, blah. I just think it's a cute movie. And I remember watching it when I was younger and it's great. And the last is not actually a movie, but a TV show that I thought of, and that is True Blood. Now you're like, wait a minute, Danielle, isn't True Blood about vampires? No. Yes, it is, but there are fairies in it as well, and the farther you get into the TV show, the more the more the fairies come along. So I thought that was neat that not only did it have vampires, but it had fairies and there are also other magical beings in that TV show. So I thought that was neat. I, I thought I had the True Blood series, but I don't know where it went. So I will insert a picture of that here. And again, I just love that see, that um, TV show. It's not it's not airing anymore, but I think you should still watch it. Now, let's get to the my favorite fairy books. The first one that I want to talk about is uh, the Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. Now, I've read quite a few Holly Black books, and I just love them. This one, love it. It's about um, this town where, it's a little weird, there's a, like a horned boy who is like kind of sealed in the forest in this glass casket, and like nobody's ever been able to get into it, like nobody knows nobody knows and one day he gets out and basically it is um basically oh, I can't remember. I read this so long ago you guys 
this okay yeah so the town that this boy in this glass case is oh my gosh I can't talk this town there's fairies and humans live side by side so that's pretty cool uh, some things start to happen because of that glass casket and maybe that horned um, boy gets out I don't know but I really enjoyed this again this is the darkest part of the forest by Holly Black very good fairy story and she has another fairy book coming out not till 2018 but I freaking want it and it's called the cool the cruel prince and I've seen a lot of people have arcs of that and I'm like oh, because it's about fairies and I can't wait for it the next book should not be a surprise is a court of thorns and roses by Sarah J Moss everyone knows about this I had to mention it the whole trilogy is out now but I've read this book so long ago that I need to reread this first one in order to continue like when was this published but let me just see here 25th okay so two years ago this was published uh, but this is about a girl who accidentally shoots a wolf in the forest but then comes to realize that that wolf is actually a fairy and now she's involved in the fairy world and a lot of people say it's like a short like a kind of retelling of Beauty and the Beast I would say very loosely retelling but I love Sarah G Moss and I love this book I still need to read the other two in the series though but highly recommend the other one I do not have but it's called the need series by Carrie Jones and I love this series I will insert a picture here And these covers are gorgeous. All of the covers in this series are gorgeous. I love them. And this is not necessarily fairies, but they're pixies in this series. But I figure mm, kind of the same category. But what it's about is the main character in the story moves in with relatives, kind of in like a rural area. And she feels like somebody's watching her, but she's like, you know what? I'm probably just overreacting and then she starts to see like gold like glitter just randomly so she's like what's going like what's going on well little do you know she's being followed by the pixie king and the pixie king wherever he goes he leaves a trail of like gold glitter Hence, the covers of the book have that gold everywhere. I really enjoyed this series and I highly recommend it to you. The next one that I wanna, that I loved, and I have some of these books on um, ebook, and then I have a few like at my parents' house here where I live, so they're kind of all over the place because there's a lot in this series. But it is the um, Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. I'm probably saying that wrong. But uh, all of her covers are gorgeous. Like, can you see that reflection? I just love it. This book is called The Iron Trader, but the first book is called, let's see. The first book is called The, the Iron King. I would highly recommend these. I love these series. It's about a girl who kind of gets wrapped up in the fairy world and there's little like love triangle stuff going on and there's I just I don't want to like ruin it but I would so recommend this. 
It involves the summer court of fairies, the winter court of fairies. There's a new court of fairies that you'll learn about. It's just so good. I could not put these books down. And then the last, but certainly not least, are the Fablehaven series by Brandon Mall. I loved or I love these books and the further you get into the series the more you oops the more you meet more of the fairies like they get more involved and I just they're cool they're one of the creatures in this book there's more magical creatures in this book but the fairies are definitely a neat part of it I did enjoy it and I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be it you guys that are those are my top five again there are more series that I have read um, if you're like no I want more well I'll give you some more the um, wing series by who is that by the wing series by April Pike April and Pike is a good one as well as the Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr I've read those books as well and those both have fair though both of those series have fairies in them so if you want more recommendations I would check those out as well but anyways you guys I hope you <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and in the comments below leave me a few leave me a comment if you've read any of these books or if you know of any fairy series that you think I would like it definitely let me know and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye